welcome to the tutorial video for installing a magnetic PEI build plate on your 3D printer. So for starters here, you're going to want to pull off your bed clips. You can remove your glass plates, set this aside. Uh, at this point, I would normally recommend you give yourself uh, a good second here to clean off your build plate. If there's anything stuck to this before we put down the magnet, it will create a high spot on your build plate, which is not exactly ideal. We're gonna go ahead and take our magnetic sticker here. It's got an adhesive backing here to make sure it doesn't stick to everything. I recommend peeling this just a little bit in the corner. So get your corner started. You can place down the sheet on the bed, get everything nice and lined up, pretty much exactly where you're gonna to wanna to have it and then push down on your exposed corner. Now, if you've done this right, your corner should be stuck with no air bubbles. And this will allow you to peel your corner or the rest of your uh, sticker up here and get in there and start peeling some more of that corner back. And now you wanna to work towards where you're peeling. That way you're pushing the air away from uh, I, I don't really have the proper term for this, but the adhesion zone, I guess. Uh, and what this is going to do is, again, it's just gonna work the air out so you're not creating any air bubbles. Some printers, like this one here, uh, will occasionally have their bed screws sticking up. Uh, I have a solution for this. If you ever have high spots for your four corner screws, uh, normally just means that the screws don't sit enough into the bed. Um, see if I can do this without blocking the entire view here. Basically, you just wanna go around the head of the screw with a cutting utensil and just cut the head of the screw out. Normally the thickness of the magnet is going to take up the difference in the screw head. So it's going to leave a small crater there, uh, which is fine. Um, you're printing on a steel plate, so it's not exactly just going to fall into just this tiny little divot where the screw head is. Uh, and these don't need to be perfect cutouts, but you know, the cleaner, the better for aesthetic reasons as well as, you know, I'm just trying not to make it too messy and clumpy. Now that we have all those uncovered, make sure that this is firmly pressed down. Make sure there's no extra air bubbles. And peel the protective coating on the PEI. you don't peel the actual PEI off. I'll show you the difference here. It's got this goldish color to it. You only want to peel off the protective coating that's all shiny. And not punch your camera. So, once that's done, it's as simple as just dropping the bed on the printer. Alrighty, so now that we've got the magnetic bed attached to the machine, uh, we need to set our new Z height. Uh, unfortunately, when you remove three to five millimeters of glass from your printer, you need to now adjust your machine to compensate. Normally this means tightening your springs. Uh, I normally tighten them all the way down. Uh, and then what I will do is I will home the machine. I can see we need to lower this about five millimeters in total height. So we're gonna go ahead and lower this down just so, tighten our screw. We're going to home Z. Lower this down a tiny bit more. Home Z one more time. 
Excellent. Once you're happy and you have your nozzle fairly close to your bed, I normally try to get it within about two to three millimeters or so, uh, I'm going to go ahead and disable my stepper motors. And starting with the front left corner, I'm going to loosen the bed adjuster. Move it to the next corner. See the next corner. And your final corner. Just go ahead and do a lap. Just make sure that your offsets are good or your spacing is good. This concludes the video tutorial on installing the magnetic PEI build plate on your 3D printer. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment and I will try to reply back as soon as I can. Thank you.